Hey everybody, and welcome back for more Stardew Valley. I uh, went ahead and watered the crops so you guys didn't have to see, but as you can see, the sweet berry is ready to be harvested, finally. The sweetest thing you've ever smelled. So, guess what we're going to do today? We're going to head over to Master Cannoli and uh, in the secret woods over there, and we're going to give him his sweet berry so we can get our star drop and even have more energy. So I'm going to hop on my horse and let's head over there. And here we are in the secret woods at Mr. Cannoli's statue. Old Master Cannoli statue. But we're here going to go ahead and uh, use this berry on his statue. And he gives us a star drop. It's always super creepy that his eyes are glowing red. 406 energy. The taste reminds you of beer. Your maximum level energy is increased. So 406 energy now, you guys. Does he say anything different? He does not. Tomorrow is the Halloween event. I can't remember what it's... All Hallows Eve or whatever. Whatever the people call it here. But tomorrow is the Halloween event. And I'm super excited about that. You can get a uh, reward that you can sell for a decent amount of cash during the festival. I've also been working on the fishing uh, off screen. Obviously I've been fishing. I need to make money and it's the best way to do it. So, But I've been, I decided I am going to go for the Master Angler achievement on this character again. Because why not? The fish aren't that hard to catch. And I need to make some crab pots so I can grab some bait so I can start getting these uh, these crab pot fish here they're some of them are like the stuff you pick up off the beach like the mussel and the the, the clam and uh, stuff like that but all of these right here I need um, crab pots to catch and uh, there's a couple in the mi in the mines on floor 20 you can get uh, which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? On floor 20, you get... The rockfish, or the stonefish. On floor 60, you get the ice fish. And then on floor 100, there is a lava eel. So, I'm working on those. You can also get the ghost fish on 20, 60, and 100. So, that's where you get that one as well. So I'm going to go and head to the mines and catch a couple fish, and if I do anything else important, I will show you guys. Quick stop back at the farm, you guys. Crab pots, uh, I went ahead and made them. They're 1500 each to buy, and I'm not going to waste that much money. Uh, they're a little bit expensive to make, uh, 40 wood and 3 iron bars, but iron's pretty easy to get if I need to get more of them. So I'm going to head to the beach and buy some bait from Willie and trap those up and fill back up my bait on my fishing rod and I will see you guys in just a minute. So guys what you do with said crab pots is you put them up here so you can actually use them. You come over here in the shallows of the water and you drop them right in. And once they're dropped in, you grab your bait here, and you drop them all in there too. Now all these traps are baited, and I can come back here, you know, once a day or whatever, and check them, and uh, make sure that they don't have anything good, any, you know, any goodies inside of them. So I'm going to head back to the mine and start fishing for those uh, other two special fish that I need, and I will see you guys in just a minute. Here we are on level 60 of the mines, and I'm going to go ahead and start fishing here. As I said, I already got the stonefish, or the rockfish, or whatever it was. That comes off of level 20 in the mines, and there is a spe another special fish here on level 60. So I'm going to head, go ahead and start fishing, and I'll see you guys when I'm done.
All right, you guys, and I caught the ice pip. It ended up actually being the very first actual fish that I hooked, so that was pretty quick, quicker than I expected. So we got that one, another one marked off of our uh, our list there. And now we're going to head down to floor 100 and fish in some lava for the lava evil. Here we are on floor 100. And so it begins again. I'm so angry right now, you guys. I just hooked him and then he got away. Oh my god, you guys. Finally. I don't even know how I caught this right now. My tackle wore out and I was like, oh, you know, I'll just let it go, whatever, and I'll re reapply it on the next one. And it ended up being this, and I caught it. So... There's another one of those special fish down, and it is uh, 9.30, so I'm going to go ahead and head back to the beach and check my lobster pots and see if they got anything. And if not, we're just going to call it a night and head home. That Look at all that trash that I caught in between trying to catch this one fish that comes out of that level. And that wasn't even all of it. I also got like 10 cans of Joja Cola that I drank to get some of my energy back, so... Okay, so that is a no on the crab pots. Maybe just like once, like I said, maybe it's like once a day that you can pick those up. So I'm going to go ahead and head home. La, 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 la. Going to go ahead and head home and get all this crap out of my inventory and go ahead and go to bed because I'm not going to have any time to do anything else today. So, All right, here we are at home, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the bed. Uh, farming level 8, finally! Oh my gosh, you guys. I've been waiting to get this keg for like so freaking long. Uh, now I can start brewing stuff, uh, which is a way, really good way to make money. You can turn like, you know, the grapes that I have on the farm right now into wine and, and stuff like that. But I need to start planting trees now because I need to tap them and tur so I can get the stuff that I need to make the keg. So that's pretty cool. That was a lot. Oh, I was like, where did all the money come from? All I did was put trash in there. That was a pretty decent amount of money for that lava eel and the ice pip, so. It is the next day. Spirits Eve, that's what the the uh, event is called. So I, what time is that happening? That's what I need to know. I'm not worried about that. Maybe the weather. Uh, cloudy and gust of wind. That doesn't help me. I needed it to be rainy, but that's fine. Oh, some of our grapes are ready today. Gonna go ahead and water those, and let me see what uh, type of tree I need to make a keg. I need oak trees. So I'm gonna plant a whole bunch of those uh, as well. And then I will see you guys back in just a second. And here we are, guys. I made kind of a... Cleared out all this grass up here and made kind of like a little uh, tree grove area for all these oak trees to grow. There's already one right there. At least I think that's an oak tree. But uh, I need to go make a gate for this real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, so we made a nice little uh, grove area here. I don't know why I bothered to plant all of these. It's getting ready to be winter time and I don't think they're going to grow, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and uh, head to the town square and see what time the uh, Halloween event starts. I don't know what time the actual event starts, you guys, so I'm just going to run around and forage until uh, I see the little notification show up on the bottom right, and I will let you guys know. <clears throat> I actually uh, just looked it up, and those uh, oak seeds will grow during the winter, but it takes uh, 10 to 12 or something like that day, so like roughly halfway through winter we should have a nice little oak grove over there, so I'm pretty excited for that. Okay, you guys, so the Spirits Eve Festival has begun. <clears throat> it was actually uh, 10 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and hop in here. I absolutely love this festival. It's one of my favorite ones. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head here first, 
5,000 gold for another rare crow, and we're actually getting this one half priced if you want to uh, be technical about it. Some skeletons in here in the cage, that's pretty cool. All the people. Nobody wants to go through the haunted maze, apparently. But we are. He has no idea how they're walking. That's pretty cool, though. Of course I like jack-o'-lanterns. Don't get, don't get too close to the cage. That's, that's reassuring. Eek, I'm too scared. I want to go in the maze. I'm not scared. Have I had a productive fall? Yeah, I know. They won't hold out much longer. So anyway, guys, we're going to head into the maze here. And uh, we're going to talk to everybody, because why not? Oh, you found me. The truth is I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. Alright, I won't. I think I've already been this way. No, wait. I'm lost. <clears throat> Some creepy hands coming out of the ground here. A witch's house and cauldron. The vapor from this cauldron is making my head spin, but I'm too afraid to, or I can't leave, or whatever. Should probably get away from that. This uh, TV right screen right here always reminds me of Gex from the PlayStation 1, where he like jumps into the staticky TVs to get to the levels and stuff. There's something weird over there, but how do I get to it? There's got to be a secret passage around here somewhere. Well, at least you're smart. I can't go on. Spiders. Those are some spooky, scary spiders, guys. It's just a dead end up ahead. Could have sworn there was someone ahead of me when I went through the maze, though. Where'd they go? And the actual solution is you just walk through this wall right here. And you go around the back here. And you walk into this uh, mine shaft, I guess. There's the uh, the wizard and Linus up there, but I don't think I can talk to them. It's weird. Anyway, here's the treasure for de defeating the haunted maze, and we get a golden pumpkin. A golden pumpkin, uh, literally, is just to sell for gold, and it's uh, two thousand five hundred gold. So. can go ahead and head out of the haunted maze now and I'll see you back at the main plaza alright guys and here we are back at the main area of the uh, festival here I'm not sure if it's one of those festivals that you have to talk to Mayor Lewis to finish it up or if you just leave I have Uh, I guess it's just one of those where you just uh, get to leave so we pretty much did everything there was to do here so I'm gonna go ahead and leave and head home I'm gonna dump all this stuff out of my inventory real quick guys and see if we got any level ups and I will see you in just a second alright so we're gonna go ahead and go to bed here guys um winter is coming winter is coming um it's not going to be very productive, to be honest. I'm going to work on fishing a lot, and there's, uh... I'm going to do some foraging, because those winter roots show up, obviously, in the winter, and I can use them with all those cave carrots I have in the, uh... refrigerator over here to make some more roots platters for when I go to the next area. The winter's not going to be all that eventful. I, I'm going to record and, uh... 
on days where I get stuff unlocked, like when I go and buy one of the town upgrades or I upgrade my house or whatever, I'll record those days so you guys can see those in the episodes. But for the most part, winter's just going to be uh, pretty much skipped over in this series because there's not a whole lot you can do besides go to the mines and fish. So I'm going to go to bed here and see if we got any level ups and see what how much money we got. And I will see you guys in just a second. Thirty five hundred gold for grapes that were ready and twenty five hundred gold for that golden pumpkin, which is why we got that rare crow half off basically. And no level ups or anything, so I will see you guys next time in the next episode of Stardew Valley.